The school day had just started when the first calls came into police. 6 7 St. Hook School. Callers indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. Eight-year-old Bear Nikitschek had turned in his third grade classroom's attendance list seconds before. I saw some of the bullets going past the hall that I was right next to, and then a teacher pulled me into her classroom. The children described the sound as pans falling. One heard a scream over the intercom. Teachers locked the classroom and crowded their students into corners away from doors and windows. I was like afraid when we had to go to our cubbies. Okay, oh. Yeah, well, and we had, and every door in the building, except for the ones in the hallway, had to close. So, so it, and we had to lock our doors so the animal couldn't get in. Some children hid in closets. Police say the shooting rampage was restricted to two rooms. Individual that I have on the phone is continuing to hear what he believes to be done. As SWAT teams surrounded the school, state troopers moved students to safety. Some children were told to close their eyes to protect them from seeing the carnage. Newtown police, immediately upon arrival, entered the school and began a complete active shooter search of the building. That included checking every door, every crack, every crevice, every portion of that school. Inside, they found the gunman dead from a self-inflicted wound. Outside, parents were desperate for information. They didn't tell us anything. Only what she knows, which I don't know if that's, you know, accurate. So we don't have any information. I don't know. Parents cradled their children to protect them from the December cold and the shock of the shooting. Some were directed to the firehouse to be reunited with their children. Others were pulled aside to a separate room. Maureen Karens is a nurse. All I can say is that one of the cops said it's, you know, the worst thing he'd ever seen in his entire career. But it was when they told the parents, all these parents were waiting for their children to come out. They thought that they were, you know, still alive. There's 20 parents that were just told that their children are dead. It was awful. One six-year-old boy who was in a classroom when the gunman came in and shot the teacher has told his father that as all of this was unfolding at this elementary school down the road, the shooter, Scott, never said a word. Jim, thank you.